Hello everyone and today we're going to build this section, this card section by using Bricks Builder and Automatic CSS. If you want to check out my setup, check the description of this video. So let's start right away. Click on the plus button here and then with the container selected, get your plus button and then heading and then rich text. I added two headings and one rich text because I'm going to simulate this section and now we are going to add the cards. So click on the section here, then plus button again, container, select the container here, okay, make sure the container is selected. Here on display grid, then grid template columns, right click on it and choose like four. And then I'm trying to add some gap here, so right click and add some gap as you can see. Uh, the gap looks pretty uh, similar, so now we are going to add all those elements here. So keep the container selected, and uh, with this selected, we go on, uh, yeah, this is selected, go on the plus button here, and then select block, click it once, open here, and as you can see, you see the block here, and plus button again with the block selected, go on icon, heading, rich text, and text link. So now we have all of those here into the block. Okay, let me check the design very quickly. Okay. I'm going to copy the text to make it more similar to the design. So just copy the text and paste it by selecting the title. Copy this other text here and then select the text box and of course paste it. I'm doing the same with the card. Okay, so I cut the video because I was messing up with the copy and paste. So again, select the text and just select uh, the items here on the video uh, and paste it. And as you can see, everything then works fine. Copy the small title and I'm going to add it here. Okay, so we have the content. I'm not doing the copy and paste for each of the other cards. So first of all, I'm changing those because it was not correct. Okay, so then click on the first title here, this one, and change the HTML tag to uh, H5 or H4 as you wish because it's a smaller and less important title. Then this one, uh, I can keep it H2 because it's very similar to this one. So, okay, click on the text box, and as you can see, the text box is a little bit, it's not so wide, so here is too wide, so I'm going to select this text box, uh, go on, um, first of all, typography. And I'm going to change the color of it. Um, and then also um, layout now and go on the width. And here we are going to change the width, right click and just type L uh, and that's okay for me. Um, great, so now it's more similar, right? And now um, we need to go on section here on the top right and then we go on content tab and on row we are going to add uh, maybe a XL, okay. Then close here and go on the first container, row gap, right click on it and just type XS. And then the second container we have the block, select the block and on the block row gap again, right click and choose the desired spacing. XS would be fine. Okay, so let's start by the icon now. So select the icon, make sure uh, the icon is selected, but before doing that, go on BEM. With automatic CSS, you are able to do this, but if not, you need to do it manually. Uh, so I'm going to add um, the classes naming. This will be adding on all the items, okay? So now I'm going to select the icon once done that and I try to style it as the design. Okay, so it has rounded um, corners and you know, a little bit of padding. So you can also upload your SVG, but you know, to go faster, I'm going to choose a random icon from here. Uh, let me check if I find something. Okay, go with WordPress. I'm going with the WordPress logo. 
this one looks better then you can also change the color if you want uh, I'm doing it white because I'm going to change the background of, of it so click on here make sure this is activated I forgot before so I'm going to close this and just remove the styling here and click here now and now add the color white I apologize okay so now get on style and then um, on padding I'm going to I'm sorry on background first I'm going to um, add some color okay so now I can get on padding so I see something click twice on this little icon and then right click here and just select the padding you desire and now as you can see we have some padding so the icon is actually too big so I'm going to put 2 em for example now the icon is smaller or 1.5 em you can choose which size you wish okay 1.4 in this case style and on padding um, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like with xs now it's a little bit better so uh, border click here right click here and just choose a radius uh, in this case I'm going with the S and I'm clicking here once and then select the title here click on the class here to activate it okay and then choose the um, typography tab here right click choose the sizing of the title like um, let me check maybe M looks looks more similar click on the text here let's see the text how it looks it looks the same click the class to activate click the color and choose the color you wish and then here right click on typography and you can change the sizing I will select S and add a calculation so here at the beginning calc parenthesis and then at the end multiply 1.2 and close the parentheses okay click on the link here click on the class to activate go on content and now you can select here your icon I'm going to solid and search for this little arrow here okay and then get here where is it okay you need to click on the tab twice and position right then okay now they are the position and uh, we can change the size if you want anyway I will leave it like this go on style now typography and right click here and choose the text sizing okay I will go with an S and then calc parentheses multiply 1.2 and close the parentheses content icon and here you can also change um, no not here sorry link to external URL and can, here you can add the, the, the URL of course and now there is the mouse over effect and everything automatically um, now uh, let's get to the design again I see that the arrow is not actually the same so I'm going very quickly to choose a more similar one but you can upload your own and then okay so we are done great so let's keep up let's design the card now with the padding and everything so select this layer here okay then get activate the class style layout right cl click once here right click here and just add the spacing M for example okay now go on the background click on this little icon here and change the color so we have automatic CSS of course I may have my palette and command or control I activate the, the different shades of colors here uh, transparency sorry and now this is okay of course choose your own color and yeah looks similar right so close the tab here go on border click here and then right click here and choose the radius S and then click once here to apply everywhere okay get on content and let's say I want to change the spacing between the icon and the title so select the icon here plus button and then we can add a spacing like a divider in this case let me search for it divider here is it 
Now you can select it by going here on the right, it's easier. And then um, on, let's see, uh, height, I don't want to see the line, so I just type in zero. And then style, you can also remove the style, like this, known. And as you can see, the line disappears. You can go on style here. Um, or let's keep on content and let's add like the height. Okay. We can choose M. And then here is known. Okay, so get here on the top, BM. And then we are going to add this one, the divider. So that has his own class also. And now we are actually done. We can duplicate this. So close it and just duplicate this like four times. And as you can see, everything now looks great. So let's check the design responsive. So on tablet, for example, as you can see, I don't really like this verticality here. So click on the container, right click here and just say, uh, let's say two columns. And now on the tablet, we have two columns and also in this resolution and on mobile, I want only one column, for example, right click here, one column. And as you can see now, everything is in one column. So that looks really great completely responsive, you can save this and we are done. I hope the video tutorial was useful, like, subscribe and comment if you have any issue. See you in the next video, bye!